All right, y'all. I got tired of going back and forth and texting and commenting. You know, it was getting a little personal. Y'all was getting on my nerves. A couple of y'all, a couple of y'all had my back. But this is my response to the Kwame Brown haters. Thanks, sis. And to the um the MHB supporters. Like I still don't see how y'all can support MHB. How can y'all stand behind that type of behavior no matter who it come from? Like, yeah, Kwame be talking shit, but, or junk, mess, whatever you want to call it. But I I haven't seen him go as far as MHB. MHB kind of got like a little, he getting real like nasty. Like he hit, he got the habit of hitting below the belt. He did the same thing with Polar Bear, you know, calling his daddy um, job and, Doing all, looking up um, their family PPP business or whatnot, like, he kind of go real low, you know, and I feel like if it's about Kwame not being authentic or they feel like, you know, you know, he contradict himself, I feel like, first of all, okay, first of all, you know, if he not being authentic, if you question it, like, the stuff that he's saying in his videos, then judge him on that. You know, you shouldn't be have, you shouldn't have to be pulling up videos of his kids and talking about his family or whatnot. Regardless of what he got going on with the baby mama, they got a custody case pending or whatever. You know, like, you shouldn't be trying to uh, pry your way in the middle of that and get into the middle of some family business like MHB, he just get kind of dirty with it. He get real dirty with it. But as far as Kwame contradicting himself, like I don't know a man on this world who lived and who learned who don't contradict themselves, you know? So I can't say that I can't say that um People don't contradict themselves or I can't say that he's not able to deliver a solid message just because he um, contradicted himself in his lifetime. You know, people who was younger, they don't necessarily live the same way they did when they was younger as they do when they get older. So, no, I, I, I can't judge a man off of his past or things he might have done or things he might have said. If I can get something out of his message, then I'm going to do just that. And that's for everybody. I think as black people, we have a habit of, we have a habit of um, trying to make everybody our hero, trying to make everybody our savior, you know, trying to make everybody our MLK, our Malcolm X. And that's not what we need. We all need to build up confidence within ourselves so we can go out there and be the voice for somebody Let's all put our voices to work. Let's all, you know, put our, our feet on the pavement and accomplish something together. Let's, let's not just look at one person and then pick that person apart, you know, because they're not a saint, because they're not Jesus. It's only, it was only, if you believe in Jesus, it's only one of them. You know what I'm saying? So let's not try to make everybody, just because they're saying something positive, now they got to be holier than thou, you know? That makes no sense to me. I don't understand why people do that. So the one guy was talking about Kwame. He, um, his cousin is gay, you know, and he got a gay cousin. And it's like, what that got to do with anything? So his cousin not supposed to live his life and, you know, go about his life, living his lifestyle the way he want to live because he gay. I don't have anything against gay people. I just think once you start pushing it on the kids, that's where I draw the line. I don't agree with um, it in cartoons. I don't agree with it in school. I feel like if you can't explain it to a student without talking about sex, then it shouldn't be talked about, not without the parent's permission. So, but the difference is, you know, it's, it's plain, the difference is, is simple. Kwame Cousin is not on TV, even if he on the, I don't know what he do or whatever. But comparing him to Lil Nas X is crazy, you know. Like Lil Nas X is a a, a industry. You might as well say an industry plant. Specifically, he was he was generated 
to cater specifically to our kids, you know. That's why they, they brought him out. He had the little kid son out, you know, the um, Old Town Road. He ended up making more music, catering to kids and like the videos, being vampires and robots and whatnot. Just like, you know, just real things that kids would be into. I mean, he um, he made a, a, a kid's country book. So he performed at kids at, at schools. So come on now. I mean, which all artists probably perform at schools, but I don't feel like if this is what his message, they should be bringing him to a school. I know some artists, they won't bring to a school or they're going to at least censor the music or something, you know, for the students, if that's who the students want to see. But people just want to argue for the sake of arguing, for the sake of going back and forth. And I'm not on that. Like, we find every excuse their ears to work against one another like we are truly black they they truly put black people under a spell and we constantly just cast spells on curses on each other like we can't even we can't even get to the point where we just even think positive about each other like Somebody could be saying all good things and we looking for we looking for something wrong with them. We looking for something to take away from that message. Like 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 um Dolo say, like people be straight demons. They be straight demons. Like it's crazy. Like I got on here, you know, I'm not trying to argue with nobody. I'm just giving my opinion, asking everybody for theirs. You know, we should be able to have dialogue and go back and forth. And people just really want to argue with me. I'm telling people I respect your opinion and every other comment. I'm loving everybody's comment. But yeah, it just got to a point where I just had to block a couple of people. Only because I didn't want to go back and forth. And I'll go back and unblock them. I don't know how that works, but... You know, I just don't want to go back and forth and you ain't about to be talking about my kids. <laughs> so, um, if y'all want to um, continue dialogue, continue talking about this, let me know. Like I said, for the record, MHB, you did wrong for how you talk about that man and how you get into his business and talk about his kids about stuff that you absolutely know nothing about. I don't care if you read the documents. You've been to court. You know how that stuff go. They usually side with the defendant. And the thing about child support, the guy was saying like, what I meant to say is not so much that they not they don't favor the dad or they yes, they not fair to him. Not so much they don't favor him. You know, we don't want them to favor nobody, but it should it shouldn't at the at the at the least it shouldn't be biased you know we talking about taking up for a system that we know is biased against the men especially you know i'm not sure when this case started or if it started at the height of all of this controversy that that happened but we know that men can be taken advantage of by the system you know all the time we see it happen all the time so don't even if it's even if it's not happening to you, it's probably happening to somebody in your family, one of your friends, one one of your homies, somebody you know. So you know, let's just be real about that. You don't have to argue with me. I'm not trying to be right. I'm just trying to have a conversation, talk to some people, get to know some people. I'm gonna come back on here on my birthday on Friday. I'll be 30, and um, I'm going to let y'all see me with my makeup and my hair done and stuff. Hopefully, I have a, um, enough subscribers so that I can go live. I really want to go live. I don't like uploading these videos like this. It feels so crazy just, you know, basically talking to the phone. But um, I want to go live as soon as possible. I think that would be fun. That's really why I want why I even started this, so I can get on here and talk to some people, get to know some people, you know make some friends, build some alliances, you know, build, you know, and pass on and share some knowledge and conversation. But y'all like, if you want to like, dislike, if you want to dislike, leave a comment, share, and let me know how y'all feel.